Here is the focus transmission that I recently diagnosed as from the P2700 code video recently. I'll be doing a teardown inspection today. This is not a tutorial, however I do have tutorial videos for pulling the transmission and doing the forks. I have those in my playlist for focus transmission help on my channel. So, so far it appears to be a catastrophic clutch failure that causes the P2700. One on the back of the engine here. What in the world? Is that part of the clutch? <laughs> Maybe something that got in there? I've never never seen that before, and I've done about 2,000 clutch jobs before. About to add to the stack here. Just so you know, this clutch pack right here has about 105,000 miles on it. I'm going to start with pulling these actuators off. And do the front one as well. Let me get this uh, snap ring out of here. These snap rings are all one time use. So I'm going to throw it in the cabbage. This hub is one time use, it comes with a new clutch. Take this snap ring out here. I just go in there with my pliers. Kind of jerk it like that. Real time here. <laughs> there we go. The reason I don't uh, hammer it with the special tool first or use that uh, giant monstrosity that presses down on it is because when you hammer it down, it knocks a bunch of dust down in the belt housing and you got to clean all that out. And uh, I can just as easily pop it out like that. Speaking of monstrosity, here, let me put my thing on here. Get a couple clutch nuts on there. Okay, I'm going to take two pry bars. One pry bar on this side, one pry bar on the other side, and push up with both hands. You may need to kind of jostle it up, just jolt it like that, and it'll come out. But uh, as you can see, it's up. This particular cl clutch would have made a giant mess if I had hammered on it. There's a lot of debris coming off this clutch here. I mean, without even hammering it, that's what's already in the bell housing there. Look how hot that bearing got right there. Oh, no obvious issues there. It's not blue or anything, <laughs> which would mean it got hot. Uh, with both hands, I kind of shook the clutch around. I heard a little bit of rattly crunchiness inside of it, so... Yeah, P2700 might be related to a catastrophic clutch failure here, but, uh... Ooh! Okay, listen to this bearing here. Pretty sure that's what caused the code, is the slave cylinder here. See if it comes out at all. Yeah, it does. But, uh, <laughs> that bearing was about to explode. That 2700, I believe, is just a general performance apply time code for the clutch. And I think it's a combination of things here. Had a catastrophic clutch failure with a spring in the bell housing back of the engine. Whether or not that came off of it, I'm not sure. But obviously, the bearing is coming apart and I'm sure the uh, forks were gummed up, and they are original with 125,000 on them, so definitely need to be replaced while we're in here. Uh, input shaft bearing's tight. It's not locked up or anything, so clutch, forks, let me go ahead and pull these out. E10, remove all four of these bolts here. Next, you got four T45s right here. A lot of dust jammed up in those bolts. <laughs> All right. 
this point, I'll take these out, throw them in the cabbage. Okay, the dowel pin stayed in. Make sure that it, there's a dowel pin there on both of them. Uh, save these bolts. The Ford forks do not come with new 45 bolts. Take these T30s off, holding this bearing support on. The purpose of this is to inspect the seal for leakage. If it's an orange seal, that means it's the updated design seal. The black seals are notorious for leaking, and those are the outdated kind. If this gets stuck on here for you, uh, watch, watch this. There you go. It does have a brown seal with no leakage, just a little dampness. I might go ahead and replace it. But uh, the inner seal is also the brown type. If you can see, it's got a lot of clutch dust on it. So right in the middle there, it looks like the same color brown as that. I'm gonna replace that and that, both seals, and clean all this up. Dowel pins there. And they're gonna get a clutch, the forks, the slave cylinder, and actuators while I'm in here. And the fluid service. Two quarts of XT11. Takes 1.75. Okay, there you go. Teardown inspection of a Ford Focus DPS6 with a P2700 trouble code. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I have a playlist of other Focus transmission videos to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching.